me recognize the gentleman from Ohio, Dr. Winstrup, to inquire. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Madam Secretary, for being here. Um, you know, of critical importance is to, in realigning our nation, up to, of critical importance to us is realigning our nation's supply chain. Uh, because if you had told me that I was a surgeon in Iraq, that my protective equipment and my pharmaceuticals relied on an adversary, China, especially our military, I would say, how, how did we get here? We never should have let our nation be put in such a vulnerable position as this. Unfortunately, the policies that we're seeing from the its administration are going to make it more difficult to turn this ship around, and already are. You know, by pouring trillions of dollars more into the economy than is necessary, we have fueled an inflation crisis, and uh, it's the likes of which most Americans have never seen. And now everyday necessities are increasingly difficult for Americans to afford, from gas to housing to groceries. The President's fiscal year 23 budget doubles down on these bad policies. You know, you can look at Putin's full-scale war against Ukraine uh, that I arguably would say that we help fund by this administration's policies. That has added to the energy price spike. And Americans were seeing troubling price increases long before the invasion because of these same policies. So I, I worry that these, these policies will have, will leave us with inflation long after Ukraine wins this war, God willing that they do. So, Secretary Yellen, the proposed budget by the President would increase the U.S. corporate, corporate tax rate to 28 percent, which climbs even higher when you add in state and local taxes. It's the highest in the developed world. And perhaps most disappointing is that this rate is higher than communist China which has a headline corporate tax rate of 25 percent. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act made us more competitive. That increased jobs in America, more people going back to work than ever, increased revenues to the government because more people were working than ever. So COVID took that away, so opening up the economy with these, with these tax incentives in place, these tax benefits in place, help us. But inflation and increased taxes, which are being proposed and which we're dealing with, really hurt our supply chain. And they send our supply chain right to countries like China. And that's the last thing we need, because it's dangerous. When our supply chain is at risk, it's dangerous for our nation's economic security, our nation's national security, and our nation's health security. So how are we going to uh, accomplish turning around and solving our supply chain problem when the administration is advoca advocating for policies that are proven to send suppliers and jobs overseas while making the United States less competitive than the very adversaries that we're trying to compete against. We're very focused on supply chains and agree that they need to be made more resilient and um, I would strongly disagree with your assessment, both of the Tax Cut and Jobs Act. It resulted in very substantial losses in corporate tax revenue. And the uh, proposal. Yeah, more people were paying taxes than ever before because they were working. So I would strongly we disagree recognize with you and I yield back. They're working now, too. Thank the gentleman. Let me recognize the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Beyer, to inquire. Mr. Chairman.